Well, we'll take you for a little walk around uh, the main street of Cardiff, which is known as Queen Street and has been for a long, long time. Now, this is Churchill Way, uh, an important street off uh, Queen Street, not far from Queen Street Station. And the canal you see is, um, is the feeder canal for the dock, which has been covered over for 70 years. Well, it was built uh, 180 years ago, and most of the dock feeder had been hidden underground since being covered. And it's looking pretty good. I think they're going to extend it even further up the other end. But this will be quite a smart, a smart place in Cardiff when it's finished. My goodness, yes, when the green, when the grass has grown up a bit. But, um, well, Cardiff once had uh, a, a vast network of waterways stretching through the city, including a 25-mile Glamorganshire Canal. The aim, I believe, is to um, upgrade the city and, uh, and its facilities. And that's the Capital Shopping Arcade, which uh, used to be the Capital Cinema many years ago, long gone. I saw the robe there when I was young. When I was a boy, yep, and that's further on down. We're going down Queen Street now, and you'll find this in the middle of Queen Street, wasn't it? Just out in the middle, not far off. And it's been there for years, that roundabout. I've never been on it. Not my sort of scene, but there you go. And just wandering down now. We've got all the big stores here, of course. Uh, unfortunately, Wilco's has gone, but uh, what can you do about that? Uh, I never use the Wilco in Cardiff. I don't go into Cardiff very often anyway. Uh, but once or twice a year. And every time I go in, it's changed. I can't find my way around. Um, Free mark over there, obviously, a big arcade where that's in. There are a lot of arcades in Cardiff. There's some old-fashioned arcades, real narrow ones with uh, with cafes in and different shops. A lot of them empty now, though, unfortunately. I suppose the rent's too much. And now we get to the Cardiff Castle at the other end of Queen Street. An imposing building. And uh, I don't know whether you just saw the, the scars at the bottom of the wall just then. But that's, um, that's part of the old Roman fort that was here uh, long before this castle was built by the Marquis of Butte in the Victorian era. A Scottish gentleman who made an absolute fortune in Cardiff on coal, exporting coal from Cardiff. And Cardiff was, of course, the main exporter of coal at one time for the, for the world. And now we're on the train travelling back. Going back, going back to Barry now. Uh, a lot of water on the fields there. It's quite low lying that area. And it does get flooded a lot. Have a quick look around. Yes, yeah, so these trains are due to be renewed. These are old trains. My God, they're third world country trains they are. But they have some brand new ones. Smart looking things. They're parked up in Barry, and I'm told uh, in the very near future that they'll be using those instead of these. Be very very interested to see that and the new trains on the Barry run from Cardiff. Cardiff Panath or uh, Panath run already had these new trains. Anyway in the distance you see Dow Corning, huge chemical works. Anyway we're just arriving now at Caddickston, Caddickston station which is where I get off because my car's parked in the free car park there. Anyway I uh, hope you've um, enjoyed that little visit to Cardiff, just a swift one, three minutes long. And thanks very much for watching this video. Bye for now.